in vivo anti-inflammatory test is done in different research to study the anti-inflammatory activity of different natural products, phytochemical, synthetic drugs, and other agents which are intended for medicinal use. It is done in mice or rat by injecting the inflammatory agent after the treatment of test substance. It is also called as poor edema test. One, we are going to start an experiment that is in vivo anti-inflammatory experiment. We also call it poor edema test, where you're going to use this insulin syringe which is better for this experiment it is 1 ml syringe we are going to inject 0.03 ml that is around 30 microliter of formalin 10% formalin which is a inflammation inducing acid we are going to inject in the paw of the mice so to start the experiment we have to hold the mice uh, in a proper way so that we can inject the an inflammatory agent comfortably so here we are using falcon tube in which the mice uh, will go inside easily and we can hold the leg kindly of the mice as you can see here we are going to inject subcutaneous injection We are going to inject subcutaneous Different kinds of inflammatory agents and amounts can be used for the induction of inflammation. Here you can see formalin in different percentage, 5 percentage and 10 percentage and in different volume. You can also use carotenin in around 1 percent and for rat you can give it 100 microgram per paw. In rat we can inject up to 100 microliter of this solution. But in mice, around 5 microliter can be injected in the hand leaf. Talking about the sample treatment, we can treat the sample through two different methods. We can do oral treatment and also topical treatment. For oral treatment, the sample can be administered orally. In this case, both sample and the positive control that is the drug used for comparing with the sample like indomethacin both can be given orally and in case of normal we can give normal saline orally uh, in control we can give the vehicle or uh, that is normal saline and in the sample group we give different extract in different concentration orally here we can see three different extract in three different uh, uh, same extract in three different concentration low medium and high dose we can do like this way and we can keep this uh, oral we can do the oral treatment for around one week and then we can start uh, the inflammation injecting carazinin uh, here we can see after the last dose of the sample, the inflammation has been induced, uh, in giving the carotene and the inflammation uh, has, can be 
measures uh, at a different time like 0 hour, 0 0.5 hour, 1 hour, 1.5 hour, 2 hour like that way we can measure the volume of the uh, inflammation that with the help of plethysmometer we may have different number of mice in each group for example in this uh, demonstration we have uh, n is equal to 5 in each group now <coughs> we can take the average volume of displacement at uh, time 0 for each group which can be done by uh, measuring the uh, volume using the plethysmometer for example here we can see uh, in case of normal mice at zero time the average volume can be bi1 b at 30 minute it may be bi2 bi3 bi4 we have like this way for example for the uh, formalin group that is control group it, uh, it initial volume Average volume at zero time may be BII1, BII2, BII3. For formalin and sample treatment group, uh, at dose 1 it may be BIII1. Similarly, at different time, time it may be BIII2, BIII3. Similarly, for formalin and sam sample dose 2, it can be BIV1, BIV2, that is the average volume of the paw in time interval similarly for the positive control indomethacin the volume can be V V1 VV2 VV3 at different time interval and from this uh, volumes we can calculate the swelling percentage at different time interval at 0 minute 30 minute 60 minute for that we have to just subtract the initial vol volume from the final volume for example the volume at 30 minutes can be used uh, from which the volume at, at 0 minute can be subtracted to get the inflamed volume or swell, swelling volume at 30 minutes similarly for 60 minutes we can find out the swelling volume so for each group of mice the average swelling volume can be obtained at different time interval and we can plot the graph into we can plot all the thing into graph uh, which can be shown here now if we plot all those swelling percentages against the time then we'll get this sort of graph here which determine which, from which we can compare how effective is our drug the histology of uh, the sample and Keratin in uh, treated mice or indomethacin and keratin in treated mice only can control like keratin only in treated mice can be done to compare the effect of uh, the drop against the inflammation. We can apply the sample or <coughs> other. Uh, standard drug topically so in case of uh, topical treatment we dissolve the sample in acetone and apply on the surface of the hind limb similarly we also apply the uh, indomethacin dissolved in acetone uh, in the hand on the surface of hind limb and we can measure the uh, inflammation after injecting the kerosene or formalin First we have to supply the or apply the sample and then we will apply the or we will inject the inflammatory agent and how can we interpret the results in topical application. So in topical application after injecting the formalin uh, in different groups like in normal formalin only treatment groups. Into, uh, or formalin plus sample or formalin plus positive control we have different thickness as you can see here a b c d e so we can uh, write the percentage of inflammation 
like the formula for example in case of formalin you can write b minus e into 100 divided by d here e can be used or considered as a baseline so from the value of e we can determine the percentage of inflammation if we measure the initial uh, thickness of each group and final thickness after injecting the carotene in different groups then we can uh, calculate the percentage inflammation as shown in the figure like initial thickness my uh, final thickness minus initial thickness into 100 divided by initial thickness so in case of normal the inflammation is around zero in case of other groups we can calculate is for the formula in case of topical application we can calculate the thickness of the mice at a different time interval and can plot the thickness of the diameter of the paw thickness or diameter of the paw against the time is shown in the graph and we can compare the thickness of the paw in control in sample group and in control group and in normal